In this doubles lesson, I wanna show you a quick tip on the eye formation, and specifically, we're gonna look at movement at the net. Um, so the reason we might run eye formation is to uh, give the returner a different look. Um, sometimes it's good to use to force the returner uh, to hit down the line if they're in a rhythm going cross court. Uh, and it's really a great way to control the middle of the court, which is the primary area of the court that we do wanna control. Um, and it's especially effective on first serves when the returner is a little bit more on defense. So um, we have uh, Hare Baron Mihu um, on the serve uh, team here against Clawson and uh, McLaughlin. And I'm going to show you a few points here. Uh, we've got Hare Bear serving uh, and Mihu at the net. So they're in the deuce court for this one, running the I formation. And I want you to watch. Um, let's play this at half speed. I want you to watch who at the net. So you can see he's just left of center. Um, they're kind of creating that eye that down the line returns wide open. And what's going to happen is the server is going to move to his left after he serves, which means Mahu's supposed to cover the right. But watch where he moves. He doesn't actually go right. Um, so this is a, a really um, uh, good tactic out of the eye formation, especially against first serves is go ahead and give them that short cross court angle so that you can control any uh, any ball that comes through the middle here. Um, this short cross court angle return is a very, very difficult return, especially with a good body serve like that. Um, and then your partner here, uh, the server will cover anything that does get kind of down around the singles line area. Um, but in this case, it forces a return. So we're gonna look at one more point here um, on the ad side. So I like to run eye formation a little bit more on the ad side because if I'm the server, I get a running forehand if they do get it down the line. But again, watch Mahu here. He's just to the right of the center service line. He's gonna move left, but not much. He doesn't even get all the way to the left of that center service line and he's giving the returner that low percentage cross court angle. So next time you're out there running the eye formation and you call um, kind of a switch from traditional on the ad side, you're moving left or on the do side, you're moving right. Uh, don't move too far over there. Um, give that opponent that short cross court angle so that you can kind of control the middle of the court. If you want to become a smarter doubles player and start winning more matches, then join the Tennis Tribe double strategy newsletter. Every single Thursday, I'll send you a new doubles tip or tactic that you can use in your very next match. And when you join, you're gonna get a free guide on how to play with more confidence and start dominating at the net in doubles. My name's Will, I'm the founder of the Tennis Tribe, and over the last five years, I've worked with players at every level of the game, from USTA 3-0 players, all the way to Division I college programs, as well as some of the top 10 doubles players in the world. And on Thursdays, with this strategy newsletter, I share that knowledge and advice that I've gained over the years with you. So to sign up, you can go to thetennistribe.com. And again, you'll get that free net play guide when you join.